Hi there! Today's video is all about artboards in Adobe Illustrator, so let's get started. Artboards are similar to pages in Adobe InDesign or Microsoft Word and represent the printable area. They can be of different sizes and orientations, be arranged how you like and even overlap. The easiest way to zoom in or zoom out is holding Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC and using the mouse roller. The large grey area surrounding the artboard is called the canvas area. Elements that you put outside of your artboard onto the canvas area does not really get printed. If you go to View and select Fit All in Window, all your artboards will fit on your screen. To duplicate an artboard, select the artboard tool from the toolbox. The moment you select it, you'll find a perforated line surrounding your artboard with handles all around. Hold Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC and click and drag to copy the artboard. If you press Shift as well, the artboard will move on a straight line. To resize the artboard, simply click on one of the handles and drag in or out. Using Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC, you can keep making duplicates and then resize them as per your choice. Whether it is a letterhead you're planning to design or a business card or even the sidebars for a website, artboards can have multiple sizes all in one file so it becomes very easy to handle projects. You can easily edit artboards using the Properties panel on the right. Just click on Edit Artboards and you'll find the current one selected. So from here you can rename it. So let's rename this one to side panel and press enter. Let's now select the other one and rename it to sidebar long and press enter. It's imperative to press enter because if you don't do that, the name won't change. Let's change the name of the small one to visiting card or business card and the big one to letterhead. All right, once this is done, we can even switch between the artboards using the drop down menu in the properties panel or even the arrow keys. Switching between the artboards can also be done from the bottom panel and you can now see each artboard here has a name that we assigned. So just click on the one you want to switch to and that artboard becomes the active one. You can even adjust the view options from a wide variety of presets or can even choose fit on screen. If you go to view and select the option fit artboard in window, out of all the artboards you have, it shows you the active artboard in the window. If you select the fit all in window, it zooms out to fit all the artboards in your window. When you click on Edit Artboards from the Properties panel, you'll find the Artboard options getting activated on the bottom. Click on it to reveal a pop-up. From here, you can further rename your artboard should you want. You can even manually enter the dimensions of your artboard or change its orientation. And there are a few other options that can be activated from this panel. If you click on Rearrange All option, it gives you another pop-up menu from where you can choose the layout of all your artboards. You can choose how many columns you want your artboards to appear on and even set the spacing between your artboards. So I suggest just play around with these options and you'll be amazed how flexible and varied the options are as far as artboards are concerned. Alright guys, that concludes our session on artboards in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you've learned something new from this session and if you have, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.